Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at another great comic book haul. Uh, starting things off, we have what completes my Superman of America comic book collection. We have Young Heroes of Metropolis, Superman of America, number one. And of course, guest starring Superman by Fabian Nicieza, Doug Braithwaite, and Robin Riggs. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about the Superman of America and Outburst, which is the one center on the cover, uh, take a look at our History and Origins of Outburst and the Superman of America video um, on our channel. Uh, it It's one of our earlier videos and our first History and Origins video. Uh, the interesting thing about Outburst is he actually got his start in the death of Superman. Uh, he was the kid, Mitch Anderson. Uh, the young punk who didn't really like Superman. Uh, his, Doomsday destroyed his house. Uh, his mom and little sister were uh, stuck. They didn't know what to do. He ran away. Wonder Woman went and um, during the funeral for a friend, A World Without Superman storyline, Wonder Woman went and let their dad let his dad know what all happened. And brought his mom and dad back together. Um, so that's Mitch Anderson. And I really like the character. He really really reminds me of Peter Parker. Um, well, Spider-Man anyway. Not really Peter Parker. Um, but more the Spider-Man persona. Uh, why is cracking? Um, he's a young hero. A metahuman. With... Uh, magnokinetic abilities meaning that he's not really a magnetic power like Magneto but he can uh, manipulate magnetism to the extent where he can uh, slide across uh, metal uh, cling to metal objects stuff like that um, very great character uh, after the uh, modern age changed in after Flashpoint he was never seen from again uh, neither were the Superman of America you have uh, Loser you have White Lotus you have Maximum and I can't remember those two names uh, but I digress great series they really need to bring it back he would do great with uh, if they partnered him up with Sideways. Uh, I think there would be an interesting um, an interesting story there. Uh, he would also do great with uh, John Henry Irons' niece. Um, I think it's Nat Natasha Irons. Um, he would work well with. Uh, they could bring back all the Supermen of America along with Natasha Irons and reform Infinity Inc., uh, which Natasha and uh, John Henry had started back up uh, before Flashpoint. Um, so that, that'd be an interesting idea. If anyone from DC is watching, which I highly doubt, but if you are, please... Bring back these heroes. Bring back Outburst. Bring him together with Steel and Natasha Irons and maybe Sideways. And bring back the uh, Infinity Inc. Um, so anyway, uh, we were at the a local um, uh, antique store slash thrift shop slash whatever uh, last week. And... I found a bunch of really good comics. Uh, first things first, and the prices on these comics is what I paid. Uh, we have Ghost Rider, number 21. That is, of course, the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider, uh, Snow Blinded. Really like that cover. Uh, we have Ghost Rider, number 22. As you can see there, it's Ghost Rider Dan Ketch versus The Hand. Very cool cover. 
Here's one that I used to have in my original comic book collection. We have Rise of the Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider number 28, part one of six. As you can see, the, uh, the bat, it came in a special collector's item bag that's still sealed. And that bag has, if you guys can make that out, it has a image of Ghost Rider on the uh, front of the bag. Uh, I'm not going to open it up. I like to keep that bag in mint condition, unsealed. Uh, we've also got Heart of the Hawk, part two of six. Dark Hawk, number 11, guest starring Tombstone. And he's not going anywhere without the amulet. Uh, I've always thought of Dark Hawk as a very interesting character. Uh, the suit looks really cool. Uh, however, I have never actually read any com uh, Dark Hawk comics. All, all my knowledge about Dark Hawk uh, came from the back of trading cards back in the 90s. Uh, and to me, he just seemed like an interesting character. I just never really found any Dark Hawk comics until now. We've also got... Generation Next, after Xavier, The Age of Apocalypse, number four, X-Men Deluxe. As you can see there, we have Colossus on the cover. Uh, and I don't really recognize anyone else. we got one guy in the background that almost looks like Luke Cage. Uh, this is, of course, as I said, from the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Uh, we've also got... Uh, X-Force, number 32, Child's Play. Uh, you can see Cannonball and Boomer, or Boom Boom, whatever her name was at that time, on the cover. Um, and it looks like maybe that's Apocalypse behind him. I'm not 100% sure, because uh, he's all yellow. But it does. it looks like Apocalypse. Uh, we've also got a couple really old comics that I got for $3 each. The first one is Walt Disney Comics and Stories, number 170. You got Donald Duck and his nephews there on the cover. Uh, this is one of the early pre-DuckTales comics. That's one of the reasons why I picked it up. Um, we've also got Walt Disney's Comics... Uh, number 160. Uh, again, another uh, pre DuckTales comic. Really nice. As you can see, they uh, posted the, uh, put the subscription stamp on the uh, cover. So apparently, that's how this was um, delivered back in the day. Uh, I will. T I can tell right now that it is uh, maybe 1980s, pre-80s, perhaps, uh, because of the three-letter uh, state abbreviation. Uh, the state abbreviations went down to two letters uh, at the end of the 80s, maybe early 90s. Um, so. This was a nice find. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to open it and read it, uh, simply because of how bad, poor the condition is in. Uh, but still, very good find. Uh, I love finding these comics. Um, we do plan on going back again soon. Uh, we picked up, while we were there, we picked up a china cabinet and a few other things uh, for storage. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, I also got a Darth Vader uh, bank, electronic uh, bank, while we were there, uh, which I had when I was in school, and over the years got left behind in one of my many moves, and I was glad I was able to find it still in the box, still operational, in mint condition. So I'll probably be doing a review on that here in the near future. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this comic book haul. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. And let us know what you thought. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.
If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.